Harry dropped his dignity after the act of making money from his mother's death. The U.S. confirms Sussex is a stain. Hello, friends. Welcome to the sensational news of the despicable royal beggars, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. With his book agreement with Penguin Random House, Prince Harry has been charged with blatantly capitalizing on his suffering. The Duke of Sussex was criticized by PR specialist and former spin doctor Amanda Platell when further information about Harry's biography was made public. In vehement criticism of the California-based Duke, William Hague's former press secretary connected Prince William and Prince Harry's divergent coping mechanisms over the past five years to their sadness over their mother's untimely passing. In a Daily Mail article, she stated, Diana served as their shared mummy. Harry is blatantly capitalizing on his sadness, while William is carrying him in silence and with dignity, much like his father, King Charles, and other members of the family. Ms. Platell continued by asserting that the Duke has destroyed whatever remaining bonds he may have had with his father and brother. She added, He is still raking over the past, the perpetual victim, rather than enjoying his new family and life in California. After remaining silent for months, the book's publisher revealed crucial information on Thursday, including its title, Spare, and its January 10th publishing date. The title, which is inscribed in white over a close-up photo of the prince on the front cover of the 416-page book, makes reference to the idiom heir and spare. The death of Diana and the Duke's response to it will be discussed, according to the book summary, which was made public by Penguin Random House. The publisher went on to say that spare offers frank, uncompromising honesty and that it is rife with insight, discovery, self-examination, and hard-earned knowledge of the enduring power of love over sadness. The Duke is giving his book's profits to charity, and he has already donated $1.5 million to Centibale, a nonprofit organization he helped create in 2006 to aid HIV-positive and AIDS-positive vulnerable children in Lesotho. Additionally, he has promised to contribute £300,000 to Wellchild, a charity that supports children receiving at-home care for serious or life-threatening diseases. After it was reported that cameras had been spotted recording outside the Alma Tunnel in Paris, where Princess Diana died in a car accident in August 1997, Ms. Platell compared Harry's narrative to Netflix's The Crown in her article. Since 2016, The Crown, a dramatization of royal family-related events that takes place between 1947 and the present, has been available on Netflix. The sixth season of the program is now under production, and the fifth season will be available on November 9th. Elizabeth Debicki, who plays Diana, was photographed on set earlier this month with a look of reminiscent of the late princess the day before her passing. The fact that there are cameras in the vicinity of Princess Diana's fatal automobile accident implies that the material is being shot for the successful series on the streaming service. Contrary to certain rumors, Netflix said earlier this month that The Crown Season 6 won't feature the accident. The platform added the following in a statement to the New York Daily News. Scenes from the preparation and the aftermath will be included. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, inked a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix to produce shows that educate, uplift, and inspire after retiring as working royals in the spring of 2020. The Duke of Sussex did not criticize the play, despite the palace apparently being worried about the detrimental impact the dramatization of events would have on senior royals. The Duke stated that the crown is partially based on the facts, while speaking with late-night show presenter James Corden in February of last year. He said, It's obviously not entirely correct. It offers you a general picture of what that lifestyle entails, the pressures associated with prioritizing work and service over family and everything else, and the potential consequences. Through the actions of Harry and Meghan, the American people have expressed their utmost indignation, 
They call Harry and Meghan an American stain with reproachful attitudes. Specifically, the American host acknowledged that the couple's relocation to the U.S. has given Americans important insights into what their nation had to offer. A U.S. presenter severely criticized Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for abusing the privileges that America has given them. Leland Vittert, a television anchor for News Nation, said the Sussexes' transfer to America is evidence the U.S. is the only place where the couple can unleash their full potential as superstars, despite his criticism of the pair's arrangement with Netflix and Spotify. The U.S. presenter opened his discussion of opinions by saying, I'm sorry to have to break the terrible news to America. Harry and Meghan will always be here. We must face that dreadful fact. We must accept it and move on. However, consider what that says about America. Perhaps there is a lesson in the fact that foreign royals have realized they can live better lives here. Consider that the British, who are the ones who know Harry the best, despise him. He was essentially driven out of the nation. The host of News Nation, Viterd, began by criticizing Prince Harry for signing a $36.8 million pound four-book contract with Penguin Random House, which would be released on January 10th, according to the publisher. He stated, Where else would a book publisher foolish enough to shell out $20 million for Harry's autobiography? There is no chance that revenue from book sales will even come close to it. Harry receives $20 million for a book named Spare, which is essentially a book about not being required, but only in America. She receives $20 million just in America. How can we be certain that they won't get it back? The Sussexes, who struck a £91 million agreement with Netflix to make a docuseries whose premiere date is yet unknown, were then criticized by Leland Viterte. He stated, Netflix offered two people with zero prior filmmaking skills $100 million, and they're still not making the royal couple fulfill their end of the bargain. Netflix has discovered how terrible and pointless Harry and Markle are. They'd like to accept the money and flee in Dutch. In a different assault on Meghan for her work as a briefcase girl model on the game program Deal or No Deal, he questioned, The princess had nowhere else to vent about her stint as a suitcase model on Deal or No Deal. Models are only victims in America because they are treated like, well, models. Where else could foreign royals, including one who previously donned Nazi garb, sit down with Oprah and accuse us, we Americans, where they chose to reside, of being racists? Only in the USA. Where else can you go on your own aircraft, live in a massive estate in Malibu, and then give a speech on climate change? Only in the USA. Perhaps, just maybe, we should all stop hating Meghan and Harry and understand the simple fact that this pair even exists is proof of many of the qualities that make America great, the News Nation anchor said.